All right, what's up guys, how's it going? So uh, I just wanted to make this video real quick because um, Synthesis League has gotten a lot of crap and there are some blaring issues that we'll get into here in a minute. But I gotta say, as I've kind of played through, um, gotten Uber Elder down, done done all the in-game content and started achievement hunting or challenge hunting um, for, the, for those wings, my opinion of it has kind of changed and I, I wanted to make a video about it because I think it's substantial. Um, so first off for those of you who haven't played 3.6 introduced this this is the memory um the memory map and the memory nexus um are the new content 3.6 since 3.6 synthesis league and what you do is you get these little memories that you find while you're running around in in maps and um, through areas throughout the game and essentially what they are is little miniature map areas now there's different uh rewards and different types of memories that you can get um and you can see they'll contain synthesis chests and a bunch of bunch of loot this is a really really good way to get loot um but the the biggest issue people have had is mainly with the memory nexus and with uh synthesizing items which is based on crazy amounts of rng and baloney so anyway that that's the main issue that i see with this league is the complete ridiculous having to look at databases of combinations of affixes to try and get what you want right um and that is very inaccessible for most of the player base and i think that is the main spot that this 3.6 league um falls off for a lot of people um however this system itself is actually very very fun and i'll tell you why um you don't have to methodically min max it right so if you think about it traditionally in path of exile you get a map you put it in the map device you run the map you hopefully get more map drops and you progress your atlas right once you're done progressing your atlas like right now we're at what are we at um 155 of 159 right and that's mainly just some of the stupid expensive ones like Parandus and shit like that. So what do you do now? You just grind maps, right? But there's nothing really more to do than grind maps and, and farm, right? I like the memory nexus and this is super unpopular opinion, right? Because <laughs> this video is probably gonna get downvoted and disliked absolutely to oblivion. Um, but the memory nexus each one of these charges see you have the little numbers underneath that'll tell you how many charges are remaining in that memory that you placed on the map um is a map right so when you start getting guardians and t14s 15 maps each one of these charges is a t15 to 16 map without a boss and bosses are usually what gets skipped anyway um because they're super not rewarding and some of them are super rippy other than the guardians right where you get the fragments there's no incentive to do bosses really at all so the memory nexus gives you this really cool way to augment and create your own map areas that you can just endlessly run through right so what you can do um you go through a map right and you can control click and create a new area right when you do this it'll consume a charge on the map which I think is a really cool way to just consistently run through the maps without having to keep um, maps in your inventory and just jump out, place another map, jump back in. It's just seamless. You run right through. So I really like that aspect of it. Um, so while the Nexus stuff is a little confusing and daunting at first, um, there's a lot of content in this. So like divination card chests, like that's a big deal. Those are essentially just mini diviners strong boxes and you just get them in addition to running these areas like maps right and when you run out you just normal map for a little bit and then you can jump right back in there's there's chests with breach items so that means you have a chance to get zoss blood all the all the really valuable stuff without having to do a breach stone or get a breach right it's just there um Another really cool thing that I do like, and again, there there's more things that I like this league than what I dislike this league, and that's super unpopular because people have absolutely been ragging on it. However, um, the memory modifiers is the next thing that I want to touch on because um, if you look underneath these 
these maps, right? You have your normal map text, um, all the blue, but then you have the light blue stuff, and that is what is uh, modified memories. So when you see these little pink icons, you can grab those and apply them to these maps. So you're essentially sextanting your nexus without having to use sextants, while also continually running through areas that are maps, right? So it it's a really, really cool way to kind of build stuff out. So now I have a, a, a level 81 area, a T14, 15 map, um, that will have extra synthesis chests in it, which is just special strong boxes, right? And quality currency items, which are chaos, regrets, vol orbs, and those extra ones just drop, which is awesome. There's so much good stuff in this league and I don't know why it gets so much shit. Um, Cause it's an extra thing to do, right? I really like not being pigeonholed. If I want to delve for a little bit, I want to not be punished for delving for a little bit. If I want to map for a little bit, I want to be punished, not be punished for mapping for a little bit. I, I like all the different options. Um, and a lot of people have been saying that they feel forced to do that content. Just don't, you, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but having more options of cool stuff to do, I think is a big boon to the game and it adds a lot of replayability as somebody who has almost 5,000 hours playing this game. Um, I've, I've done my grinding. <laughs> so adding in new stuff like this is really, really cool. And I'll say it and feel free to dislike the video, but I really hope that this goes core. Um, what I don't hope goes core is the synthesizing of the items. Having fractured items as special implicits, awesome super cool i love that idea i love it right however synthesizing items and combining them into just straight disappointment feels bad that is the only main complaint i have with the game um and again 3.6 brought on gem changes and all sorts of crazy amounts of stuff um a complete rework and addition of new skills and spells and energy shield is out of control now cultist op um so before you just discount it give synthesis another shot because it really is enjoyable once you get used to the system um so basically you'll just go in activate this and then you run around so here's a synthesis stash free loots right some currency comes out, etc., etc., and it's really, really fun. So I'll just run through this so you guys can kind of see. Most of you are, who are going to be watching this video probably already have seen this um, and have played it, and hopefully you'll give it another shot um, because I didn't enjoy it at first either, but since I revisited it, I've been really, really enjoying it again. Um, see, look at it. Cartographer's Chisels, and that's from one of the modified memory nexuses, which is awesome. There's so much loot. And it's just like running another map. Look at it. Gem cutters, prisms, more chisels. Am I really that full? Good lord. Just throw that out. So, before you, uh, before you officially give up the league, give it another shot. Um, it really is, it really is nice. It really is a lot of fun. Um, and it's not nearly as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. You'll go on Reddit and stuff like that and you'll see just, oh, this is sucks. This is terrible. This is God awful. But when you think of the amount of content that they added to the game with this, it's, it really is impressive that they've been able to continue to do this. Um, and keep people engaged. Like, I still don't get bored of this game, and I have 5,000 hours in it. Like, that in and of itself is a major accomplishment for a game, in my opinion. So, don't just immediately discount it. Give it a shot. We're just gonna go back to the entrance. And, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. This turned into a little bit more of a rant, but I felt the need to make the video because I wanted you guys to... I wanted to be a voice of the positives of this league, right? Hopefully we'll be getting a big melee rework next league. Um, but the league is rewarding. There's lots of content in it. Um, and give it another shot. 
and uh, I'll hopefully be posting some more videos on it and stuff like that. Um, I want to spawn another boss encounter so I can make that content for you guys. But thanks for listening, guys. Hopefully you'll give Synthesis another shot. Let me know what you think. If you have any inputs uh, on Synthesis League as well and you think that um, I might have missed something here or there um, in the points that I touched on in the video. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.